Welcome back here to the channels Top Level Azul and Super Academico and today I'm going to make some comments about the politics in the uh, Star Wars saga I will use the chronological uh, timing of the, the stories so I will comment the political aspect there that I want to do, uh, call attention for so let's go and don't forget to subscribe to the channels ring the bell uh, comments share and take a look at the description the link that you have there okay let's go let's begin to talk about the the first episode the episode one the phantom menace here is in portuguese the title since i'm in brazil and i'm using the the disney plus brazil and disney plus as reference but the the iconogra iconography is well known uh, everywhere so in this first this first episode uh, we have the, the the presentation of the the main characters that will develop the the political thriller along along the, the saga we have the 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 queen Amidala we have the the senates and uh, the senators the the position of the chancellor and most important the uh, the senator Palpatine, a senator from Nabu, that uh, appears as uh, the, the 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 diligent uh, senator from Nabu that wants to help wants to help the the, the queen and, the, and their people from Nabu, but actually he is the Darth Sidious, né? that he he will in the shadows become the more né, the most powerful being in the galaxy that will. Uh, that will uh, uh, influence the lives of everyone uh, and it's interesting that uh, the political aspects that that first shows is the interference of the trade federation a uh, 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 corporation that uh, uh, is so powerful that can that uh, has the power to blockade uh, entire plan to receive resources and also has a representation in the Senate. Uh, so th that's something that is subtly, eh? George Lucas has shown us that uh, the, the corporations are becoming more powerful than the politicians. They own the politicians because of the, the corruption, the, the, uh, the financing of the campaigns and so on. So this is the first aspect. And uh, of course, there's the the, the speech né, of Palpatine's speech that's very very familiar uh, in, in poli politics critic. Uh, the, the promise promise to end corruption. That's funny because it actually he's the source, uh, the main source of the this new way of corrupt wave of corruption in the the Galactic Senate. Then we have the attack of the clones, uh, episode two, where ten years later from the first episode, you have the the chancellor Palpatine is still the chancellor ten years later. That's a long term, and he has created in the shadows the possibility of breaking a war that will divide the galaxy, and, and he used this this these threats, that's fake threat of a, of a war to engage in, in the seas, né? in the conquer of power and all over so uh, the, the, the main thing here is that he uses his ability to convince né? to allure uh, the, the other senators to his side to create the army and also he, he was responsible for commanding eh, the, the, the army 10 years uh, before without uh, without the Jedi knowing about that the Jedi are very very much <laughs> very much uh, uh, ignorant about everything that's happening and the, the, his abilities not only with the, the use of the dark side of force and so on but his ability to to be in, in many politics politics uh, uh, positions with many allies allies that uh, 
I, I get convinced by uh, this possibility of growing, possibility of getting more power. So he used the, the others' greed to 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 be able to uh, ascend more and more in power in politics. So there's the the, the place, uh, the the park place uh, of the the senators that they they have to believe in the threats of the separate separatists believing these threats they allow the the creation of the army so the jedi can do nothing but just command the army and that goes to the next step which is the series the animate series clone wars uh, which i believe uh, it has uh, seven seasons and it, it was able to the, the show the, the series was able to develop the, the the structure of the clone wars very well uh, so uh, the, the attack of the clones there is the, the first act of the war and in the third movie né, the revenge of the, the sith there is the the final act of the clone wars with the transformation of the republic into the, the empire but the clone wars shown in seven seasons how uh, slowly the republic was decaying into the empire it wasn't like a, 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 a fast blow it was uh, something that took many years two three years to happen and the 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 the, the way that the, the politics is developed in the series is very smart it's very simple and smart in the same way because it shows the the view of the people the people that are left for in poverty in slavery in difficulty while the, the senate is discussing trying to 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 achieve their own goals uh, of course there's the there are the, the other senate the senate that are really interested in the good of the people but mainly is the uh, the presentation of a way of understanding politics where the uh, the, 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 the chancellor and the Palpatine uh, are very much able to be in many places with many representatives, representatives uh, res uh, many people that represent him in both sides because we know outside the story that he plays the, 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 the head of the Republic and also the head with the, the, the proxy of uh, uh, Konduku uh, the, the head of the separatists so uh, he plays play, uh, he plays both sides so well in the politic arena that uh, uh, convinces both sides that the other is the threat so they engage in the war that is actually uh, uh, a false false cause there's no no real threats to one another but they believe one another is the threat so it's very well developed and each word that presented in the, the show is also very well developed this, this idea of the, the chaos that is uh, that is programmed uh, that's put into the the spirit of the people and so the people so afraid that they embrace the violence the war so it is going to develop uh, in a dramatic way that uh, ends with the the next the next installment yeah, which is the revenge of the Sith of the Sith yeah, the episode 3 which uh, presents how Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader mainly the main main problem that's presented in the, the movie but also uh, there's the the the, uh, the sentence the phrase the line that uh, Senator Padme Abidella says yeah, that it, that's how liberty dies with a thunderous applause yeah, the, because uh, all along uh, all along the, the episode 2 in the Clone Wars what Palpatine did was create, was create a, 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 the fear of disorder the fear of war so he comes with the solution of become the orderly uh, the, 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 the order empire the, the secure empire so it's very um, 
beautiful how George Lucas managed to do that, present that. It's very, very pedagogical, it's very educational how they present that. Because uh, in history, many times that the, the liberty and the freedom is lost is because of these political arrangements, not so much of from a strike, but more from a development that is low and nobody sees until it's too late. And in history, you have many of these. And next, right when it ends, the Revenge of the Sith and then the Order 66, 66, we have the recent animated series, The Bad Batch, Bad Batch from the Disney Plus it's in the second season and, and it shows the beginning of the Empire right? the first days, the first weeks, the first months of the Empire and so it shows how the politicians are put aside uh, and then the military and the, the strength of the military forces are put in place to take the decision so uh, it shows that uh, the, the the slowly transformation of the republic into the empire uh, it is it has continued in the the uh, in the development of a more uh, more uh, explicit form of military violence that are s s uh, replacing the politician replacing the, the the diplomacy replacing the debates to solve the problems, so uh, it's funny that uh, in reality, m m much, uh, much of the things that we live today here in Brazil and other places has this taste of like uh, the creation uh, of an artificial polarization, artificial struggle between uh, different ideas that create a, a sensation of fear that justifies the use of violence but uh, it's, it's still in development i haven't watched at all i just begun the second season but it's, i think it's great next is the the movie han solo that uh, places uh, happens in i, I think uh, five six in the first 10 years of the empire i don't know for sure and but there's there's not much of the politics there's more like a, a side of the galaxy you know? the, the people the regular people trying to survive with the means they find to survive and so it, show, it shows that uh, the, the the empire is trying to uh, try to impose you know? try to impose order in a, in a galaxy that is essentially uh, plural uh, with a variety of, of ways and uh, opens to many things uh, since the, the Jedi are not available anymore of crim criminal and, and not very nice things to happen like slavery again so uh, I think this most aspect is the most visible aspect of the politics of the Star Wars in this movie is that the, the ascending of these criminal activities alongside with the Empire. <coughs> Next we have uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, the, the the series in Disney Plus, which uh, happens I uh, that I know for sure that's ten years, uh, ten years after the the empire after the the revenge of the Sith so uh, the, the story is not very much about politics but much more personal story about Obi-Wan but the heck there is the the presentation of the the role of the the Senate that is still there as each time less each, each time more uh, uh, figurative uh, 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 like a illusion of action for the Senate since the, the Senate and you know, Bay Organa, the, the Princess Leia 
father, adoptive father, he uh, he he doesn't have many things to do in the Senate because the Senate no longer acts since the emperor makes the decision. So uh, it's it's very nice to to see in the story that the this aspect uh, the the decay of the power of the senates of the senators uh, and the growth of the power of the the central power of the emperor with the his henchmen uh, the, the Darth Vader gaining power even as having this this personal problem to solve with Obi Wan Kenobi. Next we have the the other uh, another uh, uh, animated series made by Dave Filoni, a brilliant, brilliant storyteller, uh, Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, that uh, the, the politic aspect is, is more like a, the, the, the taking action of the, the rebel senators, like Momata and Bay Organa again, and Leia appears in the show too, and I think it's uh, it can shows like that the empire are more and more needed to use the force that was the, the the violence it's 15 years uh, 15 years after the, the revenge of the Sith and five years before the the new hope and when the series begins and shows a galaxy that has uh, again uh, the the rebels uh, alongside with smugglers and pirates and these people are trying to survive as as much as fight against the empire and the empire tries to impose force and the politic politicians are like left uh, left aside in the the society and the militaries and the, 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 the central power of the empire is the one that takes the, the, the things and the decisions make the decision so this aspect shows in uh, this, this political aspect of the, the, the Star Wars in this show is uh, a reaffirmation and a confirmation that the politics politics in the way that uh, the speech and diplomacy and the respect to one another are more and more left the room so the violence uh, the, the dictatorship are more present more and more and especially when it comes to this show Andor in Andor uh, this, those are 12 episodes of a great story of people that sacrifice their lives uh, so they can regain a galaxy that's free again and uh, it's very powerful and very sad in the same way because it shows all the the, the politics you know, the ability of talk and search for the common sense um, are almost abandoned so the uh, the only thing that's left is the bureaucracy the bureaucracy of the violence of the empire and uh, I think that that aspect of the politic politics in the Star Wars is, is very well presented in this show because it shows just the system workings pure <coughs> rational robotic rationality uh, acting so they can brutally make people do what they want and uh, I think the, the episodes in prison, for example, is very, very strong because they demonstrate how they submit, uh, how they, they make the person just do what the machine wants. The machine that's a literary machine and a figurative machine, a machine of the state, uh, of the, 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 the totalitarian state that tells what they want that they need to do and also there is the the hope that is 
imply in the story of the people rebelling, né? people saying no, people sacrificing, so they can be free again. So this aspect of the politics in Star Wars is very represented here in Andor, that culminates in the Rogue One. In Rogue One, a yeah, Star Wars story, it is an action movie, very well made, about the the one little mistake in the Death Star, but is also show the the, the parts, you know, the role of the, the the rebels, the rebels that sacrifice their si that sacrifice their lives, including the Andor, you know, the Cassie Andor, and also the the picry fighting, the political political picture picry between the rebels, the, the rebels groups that uh, uh, the, does not agree, especially the, the figure of the, the extremist uh, Saw Guerrero that also comes from the Clone Wars series and in the Rebel series and in an Andor. He's like a, uh, he represents the, the need of extreme freedom uh, like an anarchy that's not it's against the empire but is not in favor of the back of the republic he wants freedom for the people the different planets so this aspect is it, coming very uh, subtle in the, sh in the film but uh, I think it's very uh, very realistic because even in the most uh, unified rebellion there are differences and that's a, a, a good thing uh, that's a thing that the empire n never wanted any totalitarian you know, authoritarian regime wants is difference is difference of opinion and that's a, a thing that should be uh, should be uh, present in any society next we have a uh, new hope uh, the, the first move that was made and that that's a, uh, the, the the political aspect that's most present is when the 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 the, the bureaucrats the, the governors they are talking about the death star and so on and they say something like uh the the the, the senate the the rebels will will gain sympathy with the senate etc something like that né? the senate is still there and if the rebels gain some attention some sympathy from the senate and then Moff Tarkin comes and says uh, the senate is no longer a problem no no concern the the emperor just dissolve the, the the senate I remember that uh, something that a uh, very notorious thing to to uh, dictator dictatorship do is to solve parliaments. So here in Brazil, for example, in, uh, in the, the all the the coups that happened here, always the parliament was solved. But the emperor took twenty years to dissolve the parliaments because a whole galaxy, a lot of representatives, representatives that helped him. Uh, in many ways all along the way so he just dissolved the parliaments and then the senate 20 years after the creation of the empire in brazil we have uh, the first coup from uh, the Vargas he dissolved the parliament the, 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 the parliament right after and the militaries in, in 1964 also closed the, the parliaments right after the coup and it's happened many many places so uh, it's very interesting so this closing and uh, this dissolving of the parliament of the senate is the the final step to total dictatorship and also is the the like the the moments where the rebellion says we got nothing to lose just have to fight and win this time so they blow up the first Death Star and get his first victory. In the Empire Strikes Back, 
uh, considered for many the, the best movie of all the movies of the Star Wars movies uh, there's very little space for politics because it's in the middle of the war the, the, the Empire is striking back is pushing the rebellion to flee so it's a very very low point for the politics in Star Wars but it is there uh, it's because they, they want to regain the freedom the, the society the galaxy so the politicians are there but they do not do not appear finally in the return of the Jedi we have the return of the politicians with the appearance first appearance of Momata in the, the movies she is the one that are leading eh, the, the <coughs> plan to attack the second Death Star so she's there né, as I said leading the the rebellion alongside with other politics that are not shown because the, well, there was no time to show so today in the recent uh, Disney Plus shows uh, there are more ways to show this aspect of Star Wars which I think is cool I think is not very nice I like very much so uh, it, it ends with the destruction of the Death Star, the, the Emperor dying, everybody thought that he was dead. And Luke redeems his father, saving him from the dark side. So, so and now what? Now we have the opportunity to develop this time of the Star Wars universe, where it's right after the return of the Vegedi and the Mandalorian and the other show about these people uh, the Mandalorian, the, the book of Boba Fett is shown um, a galaxy that is being restructured, reconstructed with new ideals, new, new things that need to be do need, need to be done to put some order alongside with freedom which is problematic because you have 20 years of dictatorship and suddenly you have freedom again it's hey -hoo, hey, it appears very nice but you have criminals you have problems you don't have the Jedi anymore so if you don't have the Jedi to keep the peace you have to do some other way and well the the way they found this the the Rangers eh, that was presented somehow and also the, the the people trying to do their things in their own way like a wild west way uh, Dave Filoni and Joe Fervo shows his environment as like the, the uh, on western in the same way of the book of Boba Fett where the same environment where the, there is a new kind of order the galaxy but also there are the, the, the criminal groups that are always around and seizing power so you have uh, like a standby moment in politics it, it, it's not shown in the shows but it's obviously a problematic matter and I think that in the future events you see here we have a, a, a animated series about the, the the appearance of the resistance. So the resistance is like a a group of people that want the republic to work, but obviously, 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 it's not working. Somehow, it's not working. Uh, we can say that's the influence of Palpatine that is still in the shadows, as we know but i think it's because uh, it was no no concern of developing the politic uh, the political aspect of the galaxy in a way so have to reconstruct the senate to reconstruct the society reconstruct the relations that was broken that were broken in the clone wars so it was 20 20 something years 
of breaking relationships that need to be reconstructed. So they failed since they needed a resistance, a military, a parliamentary operation of resistance. Then we have the, the Force Awakenings, uh, a Force Awakening, that the episode 7, and that's no, there's no political aspect of this universe is presented, so it is very problematic to analyze how it, uh, how it be important for, because uh, is there, there's one thing that George Lucas and the others storytellers have shown along the, the, all these movies, shows, series, is that the political aspect is essential to construct the story. So here you have no political back background. You know that the 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 first order, that's the new empire, the first order. They say that the republic allows disorder in the galaxy, but they don't, don't say how. They don't show how how that works. How how the the the, the appearance of the first order comes to respond to this disorder in a political way in the day, daily daily problems of the society of the planets so you have just the the appearance of threats and resistance so but you have no political back background to to support now what is happening in in the, the movie so that's a problem here in the last jedi I think the author Ryan Johnson tried to bring some aspects of the political the political scenario by showing, yeah, portraying the 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 the, uh, the problem of the the high society that exploits the low society in some way, very subtly, in a way that not everybody like that and also you have the the presentation of the idea that uh, the, the the people that produces arms né? guns and, and armaments they profit from both sides the the first order and the resistance and that, that's a political aspect but that was not very well developed could have been more well developed and also uh, the the part né, the role of the Jedi in the thing is very not very well developed because if Luke Skywalker was reconstructing the Jedi Order the Jedi Order should have some political part to, to, to play in the politics in the galaxy S because uh, uh, the, the was the they, they had the, the the role of the peacekeepers so it's it's not very well developed so I think that's mostly because because of that the, the uh, many people didn't like you know, the sense that something was missing in the story but uh, I think it was, uh, it's necessary to to re rescind that the political aspects of this dispute between the resistance and the first order was what the republic does support the resistance resistance the first order want to bring back the empire well and finally and finally you have the the ascending of skywalker i think it's that title in english I think that so. I don't remember. Well, in these movies, there's the, the last one so far, and there's uh, again no mention of the politi political scenario in the galaxy at that moment. Just shows that the somehow the the empire was going to get back in place with. A lot of armaments <coughs> and it was all destroyed by the resistance 
but as it doesn't show how the would gain uh, the, the confidence uh, the, the trust of the, the the galaxy again without the politicians and so the political aspect was left aside left behind in it I think it, uh, this movie was quite a mess it was there were a lot of things that could be been better well exploited as poor but well, <coughs> I think it's missing something when the politics it's not there because something very important in the saga. Well, that's what I had to say about this politics in Star Wars. I hope you enjoy and if you have some comments, put on the comments, <laughs> write something so we can discuss in other videos and in the text don't forget to subscribe give the like please and also share and take a look at the description below so bye bye